Welcome back to WUVA Weekly Sports Recap. We'll be covering all the highlights from the University of Virginia sports from this past week. First up, the women's volleyball team went against Coastal Carolina and Hofstra in their Cavalier Classic Tournament last Friday and Saturday. Unfortunately, on opening night, the Cavaliers lost to Coastal Carolina in three sets. But UVA turned the tides on the second day, beating Hofstra three sets to one and taking the Chanticleers to an exciting five sets. The Cavaliers beat Coastal Carolina with help from outside hitters Brooklyn Borum and Elena Dupre, who finished the weekend with more than 30 kills apiece. Up next, the UVA men's soccer team faced Duke in their ACC opener. Coming out of the second half of the game, Duke scored to put them up one to nothing against the Hoos. Although possession momentum swung in favor of the Cavaliers in the last 25 minutes, UVA was unable to tie the score back and lost one to nothing. For the women's soccer team, the Cavaliers first looked to defend their number four spot in the country against VCU. The game was scoreless until the last 13 minutes when Maggie Cagle fired a shot from 24 yards away and scored, leading the Hoos to victory one to nothing over the Rams. On Sunday, the women's team faced Howard to close out their non-conference games. The Cavaliers downed the Bisons in a four to nothing victory. UVA's win against Howard put them in the number two spot in the country, and they'll look to defend their ranking as they play Miami this week. Women's golf had a huge victory last week, winning the Pan Pacific UGSL tournament with Amanda Sambach taking first place. Sambach finished with a three-day total of nine under 207. This win marked the fifth tournament win of her career. The men's football team took on Wake Forest last Saturday. For much of the first half, the game was back and forth with the Cavaliers trailing close behind the Deacons. In the third quarter, Wake Forest scored a touchdown followed by an interception from the Deacons defense, leading to a field goal. This offensive streak put Wake Forest up 30 to 17 going into the fourth quarter. However, Calandria found Harris early in the fourth quarter to take the score back within a one score game. The Cavaliers defense stepped up and made crucial stops to the Wake Forest offense. UVA scored a touchdown with two minutes left in the game to go up 31 to 30. The Hoos defense was able to close out the game, ending in a Cavalier victory. The field hockey team has continued their strong season opening, ranking as the number three team in the country. Sunday, the Hoos traveled to Liberty where they defeated the number 11 ranked Eagles in a two to one victory. The game was tied until the last four minutes when Jans Kroon scored, taking the Cavalier victory. The field hockey team has a tough match this Friday against Maryland, who holds the fifth spot in the country. This has been WUVA Weekly Sports Recap. I'm Jordan Stallard, WUVA.